So this is a video on how to test the couch movement on a tomotherapy. I like to use a five cm piece of solid water and just a regular ruler. I tape the ruler on top of the solid water, just give it some stability. We also have like a Gamex laser phantom that you could probably use for this. Then I align the phantom with the lasers and here I am starting with the X laser. So I am just picking a mark on that ruler and noting where that is and then I will move the couch laterally some distance and I will then compare that to the movement that I can see of the laser on my ruler. And so the laser stays in the same spot, and of course it's the green laser, and the couch is just moving back and forth. So I'll go one direction, and then I'll go back the other direction, but I'll go past my origin. And then at the end, I always like to return to the origin and just test the repeatability. Test that if I move plus 2cm, minus 4cm, and then again plus 2cm if I return to my zero. And now I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to test the couch in the Y direction. And of course the same three movements. Move one direction, move back across the origin in the other direction, and then move back to the origin. Once I've tested the X and Y movement, I flip my piece of solid water to test the Z movement, so I'm using the green laser on the back wall. But an interesting thing about the Tomo couch is it doesn't just move straight up and down, uh, it has a serpentine motion to it. This means that the couch will sort of move in or out if you're moving it up or down, and then it will uh, adjust itself accordingly. So I like to put a little piece of tape on top. That way, when it does its serpentine movement, I can see that it returns to where it should be. So on that little piece of tape, I just put a little pin mark. And you can see how as it moves up or down, it drifts away from that mark and then it will move itself back to it. And that's it. That's how I test the couch movement.